It was a big day at Elon as the university did something today that they've never done before. It introduced Jen Strawley as the first ever woman to serve as athletic director in the 134 year history of the university. I'm just incredibly humbled and, and really excited to begin this, this next journey. After an 11 year stint at the University of Miami in several different roles, Jennifer Strawley comes to Elon not looking to make history, but to help grow Phoenix Athletics. I'm, I'm proud to be able to serve in that role. I think the most important piece is just to have, have leaders who can set the course and, and establish the direction um, to continue to move the institution forward. Although Strawley is focusing on the future, she is the first woman to be named athletic director in the more than 100 year history of Elon Athletics. In the Coastal Athletic Association, the conference Elon calls home, there are four other women that were that title. I'm just excited to partner with them and to partner with all the athletic directors within the CAA to continue to advance um, both athletically and academically. You know, I've just been really fortunate in my career to have had fantastic mentors that have helped shape who I am and position me. And I hope that in some small way, maybe I can set an example for, for the next generation of women as they continue to chase their dreams as well. Now, the CAA has 14 member schools, five of which, including Elon, now have women who serve as athletic director, and that number ties the conference with the MEAC for the most in the Division I college sports realm. Mm, well, just to piggyback what she's saying, I think this is really great, especially for those um, Elon students, female um, athletes who are able to see this and pave the way because maybe they have dreams of their own to become um, an athletic director of some sort at their own next it step. Doesn't of even life. sound odd to me. You know, I mean, it's just like, so what? Right. It's great. I mean, it's just the way it should be. It's it's like when we're seeing now, um, you know, uh, female referees in, yeah. in major sporting right. events, coaches of NFL teams. Um, it, it, it's it's nice to see the, the playing field is being leveled a bit here, but at the same time, I mean, I feel like, I don't know, I just, it seems normal to me. Yeah, I think, so this is, I'm going on a sidebar here, but, and Jalen can probably back me up if he remembers this, but I think one of the high schools, I want to say Northern, but I'm not sure, had a female kicker on the football team. And I remember seeing her kick a point after touchdown. You're absolutely right. It was, right? No, it was Northern Guilford. The yeah. last time I checked, they were the most recent school that had a young lady as a kicker to serve as the kicker on the field. I loved it because I was there at the mm -hmm. game. I thought it was so cool. That was really but awesome. I want to touch on something that Sydney said, right? Because Jen Strawley was a former college athlete. She played softball at the University of Penn. Mm -hmm. And so when you said that the other young ladies could mm -hmm. look up to her and see themselves as that in the future, that's a perfect example because, I mean, once she was a college athlete and now she's She had those dreams of her own. And now she's running the show over to you. That's good. That's cool. Very nice.